In this lesson, I will show you how to import citations from library databases into your Zotero library. After learning some basic information about global warming from the open web, you should be ready to do some research in library databases. Swoop search is usually a good place to start. This orange search box combines library books with articles and other resources from our most popular databases. In Swoop Search, you're given the option to import citations individually or in batch. You can tell if the batch option is available because a folder icon will appear for the Zotero import button. If you click this, a list of the items represented on that page will appear. Note, it's only this page. Subsequent pages of results will not appear in this box. Click the items that you want, or select them all, to import them in batch into your Zotero library. Individual citation importing is still available on the detailed records page of the Swoop Search entry. If you run into any problems like this known translator issue, you can usually use an export feature within the database itself. For example, in EBSCO databases like Swoop Search, there's an export button on the right hand side. You can export citations in RIS format, which is a format that automatically uploads into your Zotero library. The library catalog works similarly with a batch import feature on the results list, individual import features within each detailed record, and a backup RAS option if you run into any trouble. Other databases that have these features are ScienceDirect, ProQuest databases such as Digital Dissertations and Theses, and Gale Virtual Reference Library, just to name a few. If an automatic import option is not available, there are other ways to get your citation into Zotero, which I will discuss in the next lesson. If you need more help, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian at library.uttyler.edu.